Hello, I'm Brenton, one of our MCAT tutors here at Inspira Advantage, where we help students get accepted into medical school and other professional programs. Today, we're talking about phase diagrams with a special emphasis on the triple point, as it's super important for the MCAT. Phase diagrams provide a graphical representation of the physical states of a substance under varying conditions of temperature and pressure. You can see here, we've got pressure on the y-axis and temperature on the x-axis. They map out the boundaries between solid, liquid, and gases showing how a substance transitions from one state to another. The x-axis typically represents temperature, while the y represents pressure, which is what I've shown in our diagram. Understanding phase diagrams is crucial for grasping the concepts of phase transitions and the conditions under which these transitions occur. Quickly, we'll do a brief overview of the three states of matter you need to be really familiar with for the MCAT, liquids, solids, and gases. Liquids are characterized by loosely connected particles that take the shape of their container with varying flow rates due to viscosity. Solids are more tightly packed particles in a fixed shape and volume. They can expand or contract with temperature changes. All true solids have an orderly crystalline structure. Gases are composed of widely separated particles with no definite shape or volume, filling the container they're placed in. There are negligible intermolecular forces among gas particles. Now I want to point out some key features of the phase diagram you need to know. First is the triple point, shown here. It's a unique condition where solid, liquid, and gas phases coexist in equilibrium. It's a singular point on the diagram where the boundaries of the three phases meet. Then we have the critical point, which is both at a higher pressure and a higher temperature. This is the end point on the phase diagram, where the liquid and gas state becomes indistinguishable from each other in a state we often call a supercritical fluid. Phase boundaries are the lines or curves on the diagram, which indicate conditions under which two phases can exist in equilibrium. These include diffusion curve, vaporization curve, and sublimation curve. And we can just kind of think this one through. So if we follow our solid line, it makes sense that at a high temperature, at a, excuse me, at a high pressure and a low temperature, we would have a gas. So then if we increase the temperature a little bit, we're gonna move to the left a little. And okay, then this is our liquid. So what happens when we go from a solid to a liquid? Well, we freeze. So this would be our fusion curve then, because fusion is just melting slash freezing. Now, water is an exception of many things, including having a weird curve. Most phase boundaries increase the melting point with pressure. Water is a notable exception. Its solid liquid boundary has a negative slope, meaning the melting point decreases with pressure. This unique property is due to the less dense crystal structure of ice compared to liquid water, which is attributed to an extensive network of hydrogen bonding. This results in some interesting properties we like to take advantage of, like ice skating. The sharp ice skate redistributes your weight onto a tiny sliver surface area. This greatly increases the pressure, causing the ice to turn into a liquid, allowing for extra easy gliding across the ice. There are some clinical and environmental implications you should be aware of for the MCAT. For example, understanding the behavior of water under different pressures and temperatures is crucial for designing efficient heating and cooling systems, Similarly, the knowledge of how substances transition from one phase to another at specific temperatures and pressures is vital for the storage and handling of various chemicals and pharmaceuticals. Let's finish off with some MCAT-like questions to really drive home these essential concepts. A phase diagram displays the conditions under which the solid, liquid, and gas phases of a substance are stable. Considering the information provided about the behavior of water compared to most substances, which of the following statements best describes the unique property of water's solid liquid phase boundary on a phase diagram? Take a few moments, read through the answers, pick the best one. In this case, our answer is going to be B. Water's solid liquid phase boundary slopes negatively, showing that the melting point decreases with an increase in pressure. This reflects the unique property of water where ice is less dense than liquid water due to its molecular structure, causing ice to melt under pressure. Remember this nice diagram we looked at earlier. On to question two. The triple point of a substance is the condition under which all three phases of matter, solid, liquid, and gas, coexist in equilibrium. The critical point is where the distinction between the liquid and gas phases become indistinguishable. Given these definitions, which of the following scenarios correctly illustrates the concept of triple point and critical point in a phase diagram? Again, take just a few minutes here, maybe draw out a phase diagram with great practice, and think about it. In this case, the answer is C. The triple point represents the only set of conditions under which the solid, liquid, and gas phase of a substance can exist in equilibrium. 
where is the critical point marks the temperature and pressure above which liquid and gas phases are indistinguishable. Phase diagrams are a fundamental concept in chemistry, offering a visual representation of the states of matter and the transitions between them under different environmental conditions. The triple point and critical point are crucial aspects of these diagrams, providing insight into the unique behaviors of substances under specific conditions. Understanding these diagrams is essential for applications across science and engineering, from the development of new materials to the management of natural resources and getting you a boatload of points on the MCAT. So thank you so much for watching our video on phase diagrams and I will see you next time.